I'm Jess Davis, I'm a structural engineer and a member of the institution and I'm here today in front of the ICE Superheroes exhibition to talk about the King Abdulaziz University Sports Hall in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. This is a sports hall with 2,000 seater stadium and all the associated facilities which is a large tension structure different from your conventional compression structure based on a traditional de Bedouin tent which is from the region. The roof is a massive cable net in tension strung between eight masts. One of the interesting things about the design from the engineer's perspective was that this was designed before we had enough computer memory to find the shape because it's such complex geometry, it's a doubly curved roof. How the engineers actually did it was they used soap films and wires in a university laboratory in Stuttgart initially. So you have a film of soap running between the wires and then you can move the wires to see how that affected the shape of the roof. And that was obviously really important to the architects as well because that bit of engineering defined the space they had to work with inside the stadium. And once they'd played around with that and find, found a shape they were roughly happy with, they built a 1 to 100 scale model, which they could then use to finalise the measurements. Once they'd done all of that work, they could actually use a computer to do the final design. Whereas these days, you could use a computer right from the start to do the whole form finding, the shape finding, and the final design. In Saudi Arabia, you can get very high temperatures, up to 40 degrees and the steel would expand in the higher temperatures, so that all had to be considered in the early design stage because if the steel expands, it changes the shape of the net. And also, because of the heat, they had to consider how you would cool the structure early on. There are two, two layers of fabric, and at the top of the mast, there are openings where the hot air can escape. And in the morning, when the cool Red Sea winds come in, they can encourage the hot air to leave the structure, which reduces the running costs. Another difficult thing for the engineers was the construction because you had this huge 80 ton net which you had to drag up into the final shape and the net didn't, it came in 145 meter long cables which they then had to put into a 500 millimeter square net with three millimeters of tolerance so you have to do really careful work to get that properly all together. Once they'd done that on the floor and the engineers had built all of the foundations. They then had to pull it up, which was done with a sequence of pulleys in a traditional method that, well, since Victorian times, engineers have been using. And lots of the design that was required to ensure that it could be properly constructed is still there today. So there were saddles on the top of the masts that meant that you could move the, rotate the cables over the masts and pull them up, and that's still there now in place 40 years later. I think this project really demonstrates how engineering can be an exciting global profession. You can collaborate with architects, you can collaborate with specialists in lots of different fields, including modern new materials. Further to that, the technology developed for this project has been used on hundreds of projects worldwide since, uh, from the Ascot race course to the Millennium Dome. So what the engineers developed on this has then gone on to have a much wider impact all over the world, which is fantastic. Oh, I definitely recommend it as a career. Every project is also different. This was a university sports stadium in Saudi Arabia. That's one project. The next project would never be the same as that, so everyone has got a new interesting thing to keep you occupied. You don't get bored being an engineer.